Hey there guys, please Marquez and in this video I'll show you step by step how you can use mind map in ClickUp. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in ClickUp, you want to click on a plus view here. Then you want to click mind map. Mind map visualize your workspace, your key or create your own free from mind map for planning and organizing projects and ideas. You can have this added in view or private view. Then you're going to click add view. Now, having your own mind map is really effective for like thinking what you want to create, how you want to things to be. Of course, you can visual representation of existing folders, lists and tasks. We can do that. And then we are going to create a blank one. All right. So let's visualize representation. Now I'm going to create it and I want to show you how it looks like. So here we have our own YouTube channel, which is a list and then we have yoga for beginners and then I can simply click plus here and then we're going to see the subtasks. So if I'm going to like multiple things here and a list here, I can easily find it here. And then we have subtasks. I can make it go back and further, but this is pretty much it how it works. You can operate with it, you can see it here. Now, my list is not a really great way for showing the mind map, but I just wanted to show you how it looks like. Now, if I would add another task, I would find it right here. So I can click plus here and I can add a task. I can see on this and click plus here. Now, of course, you're gonna find options here as you can duplicate it you can set dates, you can set priority. So in the moment when you would like click on a task, you would find the options, what you can do. You can do the dependencies, you can merge the tasks, you can task linking, set a custom field, archive task or delete it. So directly in your mind map. Now let's say that I want going to create another mind map, but this is going to be blank. And let's say the root node is going to be uh -huh, YouTube ideas. Now I can add an option to, uh, let's say business. Then I can simply add, this is going to be vegan cooking. And now, so these are the two, two we have. We can create a task directly in it if you want to. We can change the colors. Now I can look what I can do. I can create a task for it and I can create it for YouTube channel and I can directly create it, right? So we're going to click on the idea and then you can create it as a task. So let's say that you are creating here. What do you want to do? How you want to things to be? And then you can easily link it to your list uh, for that you have in your project. So let's say that I have a vegan cooking and I'm going to add a plus here and let's say this is going to be out meals. Then I can do really banana smoothie, right? Then I can go even further and I can write here, not banana smoothie, but let's say we're gonna bake, uh, bake oats. And I can write the ideas here that what I think is can be really good. Now, again, I can simply click on a business and let's say business. So how to make money online. Then I can simply choose not only how to make money online, how to take care of employees. See, and now I can simply move it like this. Then what I can do is also change the colors. So it's colorful. Like this. Now when you have it, you can easily like search the tasks on the top left. What you can do on the top right, you can find a filter so you can filter stuff here or you can re layout. Re layout means that you will like optimize it for the start, right? And that's pretty good what you can do. So if someone play with it.
Okay. Are you fine now? I hope so. <laughs> so this is how you can do it and this is how you can work and operate with the mind map. It's nothing that really difficult. Uh, it's really great for also for the hierarchy of the people working in a company. So let's say that you would have uh, the CEO, then a CFO, then let's say the owner, CEO, CFO, CTO and all these people, then marketing organization. So I can simply click here. I can add a view blank. And let's say this is a company name Sunway, right? I can simply write marketing department. Then I can have um, department. Then I can have office administration. Then I can have uh, also the manufacturing. And now what I can do, I can relay out it. And then I can go further, right? So you just click plus here, or you can simply, and it would click here. You can do another line here. So that's how we do it. Now in the marketing department, let's say there will be Jessica. Then uh, would be Thomas. Then in the RHD, the department, there will be Monica and Lucia. So let's say uh, what we would have is that we would feel like this, right? And I'm going to relay out it. And you can easily have a list of the contacts uh, in the companies for HR. In the HR, you would simply like have a Jessica here that you would like create a task. So let's say this is going to be person. I can click on it, open it and see all about the person here with photo and everything. So this is why the mind map can be also great if you want to use it. Also for this, for the hierarchy of the company. Now that's like up to you, the idea that I have. Uh, now, if you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help and provide you some guidance. And yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.